this is part 2 of 6.3 mass conversions so we are going to convert between mass of something to the moles of another thing using molar mass and then also back to the moles of the other thing using the molar mass of the other thing and here are, is where we are in the grand scheme of the topics of stoichiometry and we are right here we are going to convert mass of one thing to the moles of that thing using the balanced equation mole ratio and then find the moles of the other thing and then convert the moles of the other thing into mass of the other thing each time you convert moles to mass you use the molar mass in grams is equal to one mole of that substance a factor like that and here you use the moles from the balanced equation so let's recap how to do dimensional analysis you always start with the given unit and the value the given unit goes to the denominator of the next factor and we will have in the case of today's lesson two factors containing mass um, if we have two substances called x and y that we're looking into in the problem you will say one mole of x is equal to its molar mass in grams and the same for y and then you will also have another factor to convert one thing into another thing through moles moles of x uh, is equal to moles of y from the balanced equation mole ratio so you are going to solve it in alphabetical order i showed you in color scheme how to set up your problem so you start with the given value here the given units go to the bottom of this one that's why i color coded them and then here you put the next unit you need to put based on what you have to put and then this unit goes to the bottom of this factor then you cancel them out and then you put a unit here that will help you go to the next step and whatever this unit is goes to the bottom of this and after you write this unit is when you do the top part g so if you want to write this down that's fine just keep this in mind so let's look at a problem so here's our problem find the mass of barium hydroxide required to produce 200 grams of barium sulfate now you have to remember from past units what the formulas are there are two things with barium right this is hydroxide and this is barium sulfate so the given thing is barium sulfate and you have to find hydroxide first you balance the equation then you find the molar mass of anything in the problem with the mass written so in this case um, we have both barium sulfate and hydroxide and when you balance the equation you will get this mole ratio so barium hydroxide this is the formula and barium sulfate this is the formula now let's do the molar mass calculations barium times one plus oxygen times two plus hydrogen times two and then you will substitute these values for the letters and you will get 171 grams per mole that's the mass of one mole of barium hydroxide and for barium sulfate it's one mole of barium plus one mole of sulfur plus four moles of oxygen which will give you these numbers respectively you add them together and you will get one 233 grams per mole after this we are going to go do the dimensional analysis solution now remember the problem is the problem is dealing with barium hydroxide and barium sulfate so you are going to have three moles and three moles in there so I wrote here the things we found out in the previous page and now we're going to start the dimensional analysis and we start with the given value which is 200 grams of barium sulfate and then we have to solve B which is grams of barium sulfate and you are going to put the mole uh, molar mass one mole is equal to be uh, 233 grams 
So you're going to put 233 grams here and one mole of barium sulfate here. And now you can cancel out grams of barium sulfate. Then you have to have moles of barium sulfate over here. So you are going to put moles of barium sulfate here. And here you will put moles of barium hydroxide because you're going from one thing to another. And we put the mole ratio from the balanced equation there. Now you can cal cancel moles of barium sulfate. Next you will have to put moles of barium hydroxide in F. And that's where you put one mole of barium hydroxide is equal to 171 grams of barium hydroxide. Now you can cancel moles of barium hydroxide. Now all you have to do is fish out the values and do the math. So you're going to put 200 times 3 times 171 divided by 233 times 3. Your answer will be for the top part this big number and the bottom part this number. Then you will calculate what the answer is and it's 146.78 grams of barium hydroxide. Please pause this and then rewind and do the problem again. So let's recap what we learned so far. So we have learned to go from one moles of something to the moles of another. For example, in this case, if you go with A, two moles of A will give you so you can find the mass of A required to produce a certain amount of moles of Z or mass of A that is required to produce a, mass, a certain mass of Z. Then you will find the given value will be mass of A. You convert that to moles of A and then you plug it into the mole ratio between the two things from the balanced equation and then you find the moles of Z produced by that amount of A moles. Then you convert that amount of moles of Z into the molar mass of Z using the molar mass ratio and finally you will have the mass of Z. So that's how we do these problems. Um, and this is the section we've been working on today um, and please do the exit ticket. That's all from me. Thank you.